G'day, I'm Adam, VK for GHZ. And I'm Neil, Crazy FPV. And today we're at Kununurra Park here, where there's good trees, we like to fly here, we come here quite often. Lots of proximity and lots of open space out behind us, you can see there. So what do you fly with at the moment, Neil? Today, I normally fly with DOM HDs and a Blackout Mini. I've also had the DOM V1s and the V2s. And you like you like those, don't you? I do, I like my DOM HDs yeah. a lot. They're definitely the best of the goggles I've yeah, used, yeah. yeah. Cool. I normally fly um, with a screen just mounted on the Tyrannus. I've, I've only been flying for a couple of months and uh, still getting the hang of it. The screen I, means I can look up, fly line of sight when it gets, gets close by. Anyway, today is all about these. This is the Headplay HDs. This man I've here is going to them. try out. Right, wow, that is light. They are pretty light. That is very light. They're not as big and bulbous as what I imagined. Too, yeah, I imagine them to be quite a lot bigger as well. That's with the thick foam, and uh, yesterday I had to play around with the lenses. It comes with two lenses. I've put the default lens back in. The other lens tends to make the image a little bit smaller, which could be a good thing if you're learning to, uh, to use them. Now, this uh, another good thing about this, people go on about aspect ratio. Uh, yes, it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and it will tend to stretch out the image if you're using a 4x3 camera. But these uh, head players have a 4x3 setting and it uh, actually squashes the picture back in. So it isn't just a crop with black on the sides, it, it's actually squeezing the picture back in to a 4x3 aspect, which is pretty cool. So anyway, Neil's going to uh, give them a try. Wow. That... It almost looks 3D. And it feels like it's wrapping around your, around the sides. Jeez, this is trippy. The picture quality is amazing though. I can see how it stretches the edges out to make, to fill the frame. So is that on widescreen mode or yeah, full wide, three? Yeah, widescreen mode. All right, you can... Um... I'll, I'll try like this first. One more. Yeah. <laughs> One's better. Is there much of a difference? Oh, like... it's huge. The, the difference from, it's, it's, it's like looking at a TV, like a widescreen TV compared to like an old small box TV. That, that'd be the, the best way to describe it. And you get this feeling like you can look around, like it's virtual reality. That's how big the screen is and how clear it is. Just the test that I did inside, I found that whilst they're pretty light you can't actually swing your, your head around because that's when you do notice the weight of them and the, or just the fact yeah. that they're poking out but they do they sit on my face pretty well like on this position looking kind of down this is how i'm used to flying yeah yeah i've so noticed that yeah it does feel comfortable and uh i'd say almost you know my hds took a bit of time to get right on the on the face because you've got to squeeze them in really tight to make them not blurry but these just kind of sit perfectly and everything looks great the first time the nose piece gets in the way though like i can I can't seem to get away. I always feel like I can see the nose piece in the centre of frame. Yeah, one thing I notice, that's where you tend to get a little bit of light, light leak under there. Yep. I don't know if you can see two little... Uh... Yeah, I can see just either side of my nose, I can just see a little bit of white coming in. Alright, I'm going to take off, see how this goes. Sure. Rate mode active. Throttle active. I mean, quite a lot of break up. Jeez, this is difficult. Different, huh? This is so much harder to fly than... You're permanently scanning the whole screen. Because it's so big. Because it's so big. So you're looking, you're looking around, trying to see where you are. I feel like I'm learning again. I've got to keep looking sideways. Do you want to bring it in and uh, switch to 4-3 mode? Yep, I'm going to do that. That is so difficult. Really? It is so hard. And no one has ever said that. No, it is just like learning. Like, you feel like if there's so much to look at. Like, you're used to seeing tiny little, yeah. like a tiny little square in the middle of your vision, and all of a sudden you're like looking at a massive TV. So yeah, you've got yeah. to look left, you've got to look right, you've got to look everywhere to try and figure out where you are. And like, the screen's great, but because it's so big and it's an analog source into a pretty big screen, it looks quite soft and you don't quite get the feel of you know what the trees are actually like it, it almost isn't as clear as my hds like the hds maybe feel crisper i don't know if there's a, a setting in the goggles to make like when i'm sitting still it's great but as soon as it starts moving 
everything's going like all the trees look blurry the sky goes a bit blurry all the ground I'm looking at looks blurry and I'm constantly scanning around trying to see where I am and what I'm doing that it, it's just it's very it's difficult how do we make it four by three I think that could be highlighting the fact that we're transmitting analog video if you're looking at a H, like a HD like a proper digital HD yeah. signal okay so let's make it four by three how do we do that okay so on the menu button which is that one yeah uh, yep yep um, 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 oh, okay. is it in picture mode uh yes it's in picture mode so if we come down to scale yeah there. okay go back down two more one two yep now go the toggle yep that's four by three now cool that kind of and uh, oh the menu's still up oh, it'll disappear okay it it feels like it's wrapping around me like that pin cushion effect like like the two the top corners and the bottom corners are you know coming around me like i can see timer in my shot flying now and it's like he's coming it's really bizarre this is it's like a bit of getting used to yeah it, huh? this is really and it's making me feel a little bit sick to be honest all right i'm gonna take off again rate load active throttle active i get a bit of break up occasionally like it's shaking now i don't know what that's about There's no way I'd be able to fly really tight proxy. Picture quality is not great. I don't know what that's about. I'll try to go down through the trees here. That I'm you see, like there, I'm, I'm looking up to the right to see where the tree is, and then I'm looking to the left to see where the next tree is, and then I've got to look down to see where the ground is. Whereas. Do you reckon you'd be doing that in real life if you really were flying? No, if I was flying with my DOMS, it, it no, would... No, 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 but in the cockpit. Yeah, probably in a cockpit you would. Yeah, this would be a, this is a much more immersive feel, you know. You, you get a better feel for your terrain. And what's going on. I just feel like I've got to concentrate so much more. I think like it's better now like now that I've given it a bit of a go I, I feel more confident in, in flying a little bit faster and a little bit but it's still still so much getting used to because it's so different and the picture's shaking a bit I don't know what that's about I don't think it's coming to me from the This is really difficult. Alright, I'll try and go a little bit faster like I'm normally flying. Low and fast. Low, fast and straight, apparently. It doesn't feel, it feels like I'm flying slower, but I know I'm putting in the same amount of throttle as I normally would. Because the screen's so big, you're seeing so much more. But I'm getting a weird jittery, like the vision's all jittery every now and then, like... I don't know what that's about. I'm scared to do a roll because it's like... There we go. Oh yeah, that went alright. It's uh... It's like next level reality. It is, it is... Like, I know this terrain here quite well, because we fly here quite often. But um, if I didn't, I wouldn't feel as confident with these on as I would going to a new place with some DOMs on. Because you just, I just feel like I'm missing stuff, like I'm not seeing stuff because I'm not looking to the left or to the right, because it's out of my, you know, centre field of view. Because when you're flying fast proxy stuff, you're always just looking in the middle, straight ahead to see what's coming. But like, I'll take this thing up high, and I'll go and I'll have a look at the city, you know. And this is this is amazing. Like, this really is amazing. Wow. Like in a plane, let's say we're flying planes. This would be, this would be the best feeling because you just can see everything. Like, if, you know, pottering along in a big 
in a wing or in a, a big FPV plane you can see the world so clearly for so far. I just find it difficult to fly fast, really difficult to fly fast. Maybe I'm flying as fast as I normally do, but it just doesn't feel as fast. You're only at 50 frames. Oh, geez, you know, there's a tree I didn't even see. There's a lot more invisible trees. And when you're turning, when you're doing snap turns and stuff, you have to look sideways because if you're not looking sideways, you're not going to see what's there. So when you're yawing really quickly, you need to be looking all over the screen. Reception wise is great. Like I'm getting similar sort of range and, and stuff that I do with my um, diversity receiver down the bottom there where it normally breaks up. Yeah, that's one thing. That's one thing I, I wasn't that keen about of these. It's just got a single receiver. It just would have been nice to have uh, diversity. Yeah, but it's still really good. Like I'm getting really good. Is that me beeping? Yeah. I'm still getting really good. Oh, yeah. This is so hard. To... Cool. That is really, really trippy. Really trippy. I kind of feel a little bit, a little bit drunk. Like you know, you take it off. Your eyes have got to refocus, which I don't have that kind of problem with um, with the DOMS. Um, you definitely feel like you need to refocus on everything. But they sit good on your head afterwards, so you can go and fetch your your crashed pod or whatever. But they're good. I'm I'm impressed. First, imp I'm impressed, but it's hard to fly. The biggest, the trickiest, the trickiest bit of it is getting a feel like for what is on the sides like the middle's fine because you're always focused in the middle but when you're coming up to trees and you're, you're turning around them really quickly or you're trying to go low next to a tree you're looking sideways to look at it and you know you, your eyes have got to refocus to there and then once you pass it you look back in the middle you've got to refocus to the middle so you're always just like feel like you're fighting your eyes you got to retrain yourself yeah you got to it, it, it is like like the as soon as i took off it was like i was never flown before Alright, how do I plug in? It's cool though. How does this work? I pay for him and he gets to fly with him first. <laughs> <laughs> right, timer, it's your turn. Oh shit. It's, yeah, it's weird. It's... Yeah, it shit is like Holy saying, shit or shit, these are shit? No, holy shit. Like, the, the size of the screen is massive. And, um, yeah. You, like Neil said, it's hard to know where to look. This is just... Hey, yeah. I can see why people might get motion sickness from it. And yeah, I, I don't think I like it. Don't like them? No, uh, it's, it's a bit too much. Like, yeah, I guess it is a bit like... Um, oh, and a bit of black screen there. Just uh, give it a, like it took me maybe. Well, it keeps dropping out to black on the eight. On... That's interesting. I wonder if that's just. Oh, did we tune the right channel? Oh no, it's it's, it's uh, AV in. But yeah, it's. Maybe oh. the AV is more sensitive to dropouts, and that's what's dropping it to black or something. Yeah. Whereas the inbuilt receiver. Oh, it's going very gingerly here because it's um, one, it's dropping out. Two, it's like your head's just like seasick. Kind of. You get used to the, it after a while. Because the view is so large, it's um, it is a bit like motion sickness, isn't it? Yeah. You get used to it after a while. It took me, you know, a good five minutes on that first battery to get a feel for what was going on, and then you, you know, you can know what you. But because we know this park quite oh, well, and there goes the tree. Oh, oh. Crashed in the tree. I'll go get it. You right. keep your thing beside. Landing detected. Um, yeah, they're comfortable though. They are comfortable. Um, I guess it's just like learning to use something again, like when you first get your goggles. I don't know, I've never flown with goggles, so that's why I'm getting you two guys to test this. 
I think, you know, once you get used to it, it'll be fine. Yeah, that's the thing. Is it dropping to black, is it? Yeah, quite a bit. It's quite a bit of break up on your um, 2.4. Yeah, we are, this is using 2.4. And there is Wi-Fi in this park. It's quite good for Outback Kananara. I'm slowly getting used to it. It's not, it's just the field of view is so massive. It's, um, it's too big. Oh, there we go. Too big. Yeah, the field of view is too big. So your, your ground station's breaking up quite a bit just there, like yeah. Yeah. no break ups in the head plate? Yeah, it's dipping to black. Dipping to black. Yeah. Is it recovering quickly? Uh, yeah, quick enough. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would. If, it, if you could make the, the picture a little bit smaller. And because it doesn't you... feel like you're going as fast as... Exactly correct. It feels like you're flying slower. Oh look, they're, they're good, and I think, you know, overall you'd, you'd get used to it. Um, I think I might know why it cuts the black. Is that a menu setting, is it? No, it's a Coles box. <laughs> or it's a big W, hard to tell. It does have a Fat Shark uh, sticker on it, so that makes it's it half decent, I guess. It's a Fat Shark box. I found, I was, when I was flying, I felt like I was missing, like, there's trees that I normally can see perfectly and I know the tree's there and when I come around it I couldn't see the tree until the last minute because you know it was on the sides or not right in the middle. Yeah and this like Adam was saying before it suffers badly from that uh, 4.3 or standard definition being displayed on an HD screen panel. Exactly. So the picture quality is it, while it's still pretty good it's pretty grainy and I think that's showing up the camera, the limitations of analog. Well, yeah. yeah. That's, that's if you had a digital camera, like imagine them with an Inspire or something straight yeah. into them. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be unreal Inspire because you're gonna get, you're gonna get a full digital link on it. Yeah. Looking amazing. Oh. What really needs to drive this now is, you know, digital links. If there's a digital link with a good digital camera and low latency, these things would be unreal. Kind of need a small version of the Conics. Correct, yeah. Well, I think Teradek make a little thing, but it's super pricey. Definitely not for mini quads, it's too big. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're going a lot slower than you probably are. Yeah. How do they fit on your head? Uh, no, it's a good fit, nice and comfy. Yeah. Do you feel like you have to look around? I felt like when I was trying to look sideways, I had to move my whole head. Uh, no. No, I don't know, I'm just not... I'm just sort of looking straight ahead, um, not really noticing anything out of the you know, proof. On the sides? Yeah. Do you think you could fly standing up? Oh, yeah. Stand up, stand up. Hang on. In a way, yeah, uh, it's no different. No different? Not feeling dizzy because you are standing up? No. And there it goes, full screen. Difficult to land. I found it difficult to land. I normally fly standing up, so this is completely different for me. Oh, whoa. There's a ten tendency for me to turn my head around and... Like it's virtual reality. Yeah, yeah. yeah like but I'm looking... I don't think that's that's common to all goggles, I reckon. When you, Especially when you're starting. Yeah. So, what do you reckon? First time use? It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, I reckon. It'll definitely take some getting used to. They serve a purpose. Maybe not in the mini quad market, but you, you can have them back. Like, yes. <laughs> Um, but they're great. They, the field of view is amazing. If you're flying in a plane or something really high, cruising around at 399.9 feet, then what you see is brilliant. Yeah, the screen yeah. quality is amazing and the field of view is unreal. You can just scan around inside the goggles, see what's going on. But for close proxy flying around trees and stuff, it, it'll take a lot of getting used to, I think. It's yeah, just okay. hard to be scanning around the screen. Yeah. 
One, one thing that might be uh, good for head play to consider is actually, because um, you said the screen's probably a bit too big, maybe if they released another version, which, which is a smaller screen. Yep. I don't know. That... Yeah, that definitely would help. Yeah. If you had a slightly smaller screen, so you weren't panning around inside the goggles, looking yeah. at the corners to see what was going on. Maybe then... something in between these and the, 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 the HDs, the DOM HDs. Yeah, yeah. So I think okay. the DOM HDs are 45 degree field of view. Yeah. I'm not sure what those were. 70 or 72 which is massive, or something. Like yeah. So it's, it's a big, big difference. Yeah. So somewhere around the 60 might be the sweet spot. Um, I don't know. Cool. Until someone releases something, we just play with what we got. Exactly. So there you go. They're the head players.